Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Thank you for stopping by. Today it's going to be about trying some uh, rubber powered uh, planes that I've been building and not flying them very much. I shouldn't have waited so long probably in the year as uh, another problem is the, the, the wet grass and as I come in the mornings then there's a lot of dew still on the grass. This one is the Andreasen BA4 I believe, something like that, rubber powered. Nice one. I have flown it once or twice and it has broken once or twice already. Um, it flies kind of okay, but for sure not as well as uh, as other models that we see on the on the net. So I'm going to try it. Let's see. Let's see how it behaves this morning. Not very well. I believe my problem is the winding technique. I'm not too good at it yet, and. Uh, I might need to develop a, a winding stooge, like that of Cliff. Let's see, I'll try it again. So here it is again, I've, I hope I've wound it up better and uh, let's try it. Let's see how it goes. You couldn't see it but that was a, an interesting stall. So I think what I had there was a power on stall, so I put in a bit of a trim tab, I don't know if you can see it there with some masking tape. I've also put in some weights on one of the struts, I've done that before because it has a tendency to turn left, probably propeller driven, or maybe weight and balance. So I'm going to try it again. The problem with these tissue papers, or the tissue covered models, at least that I'm having, is that as it's so humid in the morning, it gets sticky because this, the, the glue becomes wet again, the, it's, I use paper glue actually to stick on the paper before I wet it and it becomes sticky so again maybe dope or, or some kind of lacquer might help let's see, I don't know how many wines I have on it, let's see if the elevator helps maybe a bit but it will still, still need more it still turns left quite a lot so I'm trying to maybe adjust that tab so that it controls a little, uh, it controls it a little bit, and it still has the power on stall. So it might be nose weight needed. I have some there already, but I might need to put in some more. Let's see. Let's try it again, and let's see if I can capture it on camera because actually the final glide is not bad at all, but uh, but it stalls once or twice. So I'm going to try to fly it in a different direction. Let's see if it turns left again. So the previous attempt was pretty much a, a nose, nose dive, maybe too much elevator down, so I've trimmed it a little bit more, let's see if now it gets better, and then maybe I'll stop because it's getting too wet already, and uh, I don't want to damage it too much. Not good, right? So, nose balance, I think, nose. So I've put in some nose weight in the front. I also believe that uh, as it's getting wet, then probably then the tail part is also getting heavier, right? So, so somehow my center of gravity is shifting, which doesn't make it, uh, make it much easier. So let's see, maybe really the last attempt with this model. Let's see. Better, but um, yeah, not there yet. Let's go to another one. So here I have the, the PT-19, small, I see the, I don't know if, you can, if it focuses, the, the tissue is getting all wrinkled up because of the humidity. I have flown it once or twice, it had a tendency to turn left, again hopefully propeller, hopefully it's kind of straight. I do have a, a little bit of right rudder in there, let's see, let's see how it goes before it gets too wet. And uh, let's give it a shot. Yeah, it goes left, but not bad. So I've put a trim tab on the left wing to see if it picks it up a bit. It's getting very wet again, so again, that will probably shift my center of gravity and, and everything. But let's, let's give it a try. Let's see how it goes this time. Power on stall, big time. Maybe weight in the nose now? Let's see. So I wanted to put some no some weight in the nose, but uh, I don't have where to put it. So I have to think of it also for future models to have a bit of a access to be able to put something. In. So I'm putting a, a trim tab on the elevator, pointing it down a little bit. Let's see if that helps with the 
with the stability. Again, I'm all sticky now because of the of the tissue coming off. So this might be the last attempt. Let's see. Not bad completely, but um, not really good either, right? So now to the last model of the day. This is the peanut scale bow fighter, one of the first ones I did, all crooked, not really decorated at all or anything like that. Um, it's never flown outside. I tried it indoors and it typically crashes, so I have issues here with the, uh, the rubbers because they are, they're really going at an angle, so they get all stuck up. It's uh, not an easy one to start, actually. I'm thinking of doing it again, maybe even slightly bigger, like scale the, the plan up. But, uh, but I'll see, I'll, I'll, I'm going to try to do some, some trimming flights first. Let's see if I get a, an idea of what it, its tendencies. I don't think you even saw that one, it was so pitch low. So that pitched down very much. I'm putting a bit of weight on the tail skid and I see also the tail assembly is all falling off. So let's try another, another glide flight, let's see how it goes. A bit better, but it's getting too wet now, I think, to fly. So the tail skid with the weight fell off. So I think that's going to be a day for this because it's also kind of falling apart. Back to the fixing table and let's see if I manage to come out this year again. So I'm back with the rubber powered trio that I have here, the bow fighter, the PT-19 and the BA-4 that's back there. Disregard the mosquito, that's from another video. Um, I've seen also how Cliff has made a nice stooge and I'm not on that level but I've made a stooge to, to wind up the rubber powered motors that I didn't have up to now and let's see if that helps. And I've done some improvement on the, on the airplanes, especially on the bow fighter, I've changed the, the rubber. Let's see if it holds out because I'm not too confident of it, but at least I'm going to give it a try. So what I'll be doing now, I'll be winding them up and let's see if this time they are better balanced and they, they do work better. An issue that I see now already, of course, as I often get come across, is that the tissue is wrinkling up with the humidity that's in the air. So that's something I really have to do something about. But uh, anyhow, let me wind them up and let's, let's give each of these at least one chance. So I'll start today with the BA4 and Dresden. It's got like 170, 180 turns. I tried to balance it a little bit more at home, actually throwing it over the bed. So let's see how it goes now. I see the tissues coming unstuck, which is due to the humidity, which is not good. Let's see how this one fares. Not very good at all. It was really so bad it didn't even get past the the camera so I'm going to try to do like a just a glide let's see if uh, let's see how it behaves on the glider not too good is it so I'm going to try again uh, another flight without winding the rubber let's see let's see how it goes that wasn't bad at all right so let's see if I wind up the rubber maybe just like 50 times or something so I've put in 50 turns, there was still some rubber, like some turns in there. So let's see if now with those 50 turns it glides a bit further. No, it stalls. I suppose this means it's nose heavy, so I'm going to see if I can put some weight in the back. So I put a blob of plastiline there in the back. I suppose also the position of the, of the rubber within the fuselage as it unwinds or, or does not unwind also has an impact. So now no turns, a bit of extra tail weight. Let's see. Looks okay to me. And the whole plane is getting wet of course with the grass and the humidity but uh, I'm going to try another glide without, without power. That one didn't go so well. Maybe the problem is the launch, not the, not the plane. Let's see, another launch. Now it stores and then dives. How do I fix that? 
I'm going to launch and let's see if I get a good one. So somehow stronger launch helps. Let's try another strong launch. But then it's tall, so then I need more weight in the nose. So I'll try to remove the weight from the back. So weight from the back removed. And let's see now a strong launch, let's see what it does. It picked up. I'm puzzled. I want to be unpuzzled. Another strong launch, no weight, no power on the rubber. Nose dive? Seriously? Thinking out loud now, maybe the rubber is having too much of an effect on the center of gravity. So maybe if I change the rubber to a, to a smaller one, I have now 2 by 2 millimeter. I bought yesterday 1 times 1.5 for the bow fighter. Maybe I can try that one also. Let's try another launch and uh, maybe even put in some power later. Yeah, it stalls. So I need weight. I put on the weight and then give it power. Let's see what happens. So I've put on some, some wines. Um, I'm a bit disappointed so far because this one did actually fly a couple of times in another place that I tried after I built it. But now it's not really behaving very well. So either it's too wet or I'm not doing something well enough. Maybe everything. So going to be the last attempt with a bit of power, I think like 50, 60 turns. Let's see how it behaves. Not too well. So let's call it a day for the Andreas and let's go for another one. So here's a PT-19, some 70 wines. I don't know if you can see it, but it gets very wrinkly. Back home it's nice and taut, the tissue, but now with the humidity it's really not very good and it gets all sticky, even before falling into the wet grass. So I really have to figure out how to sort that out. Um, let's give it a try or two and let's see, and let's move on maybe. So 70 turns, PT-19. kind of a glide more than anything. I'll try it without any turns. So no turns for some kind of trimming. Let's see. Bad. Let's try another trimming flight. It turns over to the right and then dives. So it does need the torque from the rubber power. Actually, I think I'll probably call it a day. You can't see it, but it's really very, very wet. So maybe that's also one of the reasons why it's just toppling over to the right because it's very heavy on one on one of the wings so yeah disappointed let's try the let's try the bow fighter so for the peanut bow fighter one of the first ones I made never flew um, I changed the rubber and uh, let's see I'm going to try to do some trimming flights first let's see if it uh, if it holds it itself As good or as bad as the others. I'll try one more trim flight or test flight without any power. Maybe nose heavy. Maybe the rubber is in the front. I've put like 90, 90 turns on each propeller. It's really too wet, I think. I don't think it'll fly, but let's give it at least one shot and then call it a day probably. Not really very good. So anyhow, calling it a day. Thank you everybody for watching. I'll probably leave it here with this video. It's getting a bit too long and boring. Um, I hope to be back and see you next time.